All right, Charlie here, aka Balrog Fram from the Heroes of the Power Hour, Heroes of the Storm Power Hour. We're out here uh, at the BlizzCon line, and we are interviewing uh, various cosplayers, looking for some people to see what they're looking like with uh, their costumes on and how that's going, the heat, and it's been a good time so far. And we're looking forward to uh, going inside and seeing what's going on inside. So. We're all here, we're hype, and we're ready to go, so let's go find some cosplayers. Do you, do you guys all know each other here? Or? Uh, we all met each other through this, through the line. Oh, okay. Yeah. We also make funny things. What are, the, what are those? Pants. Oh, okay. It's, under, it's duct tape underwear. Duct tape underwear. You want to try? Underwear. try? <laughs> you wanna try? <laughs> Am I trying on a pair of duct tape underwear right now? Because I, I guess that's what's happening. All right. All right, I think um, I might need a belt. Do you have like a duct tape belt for the duct tape underwear? That might help me. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, who here uh, has been playing uh, or is ready for Overwatch? Oh, Overwatch. Has anybody gotten in yet? No. Uh, Me neither. Yeah. We got a few people on staff that have gotten in, but uh, wh what's the big thing you're looking forward to in Overwatch? Just the gameplay, man. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the esports. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's going to be huge. Do you guys? I'm I'm really excited for the the team dynamics in Overwatch and how a team can change its composition on the fly to deal with an enemy that's giving them trouble. I, yeah. I'm really excited to see how matches shape up, being able to change so quickly your whole team composition. Right on. Uh, what about you? Do you? What are you here for? This guy. <laughs> you're, here, you're here for this guy. <laughs> exclusively here for this guy. Yeah. Damn right. He's actually from Australia. Yeah, from Australia. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. I know a few people down there. Oh, awesome. Yeah, no, it's oh. a long trip, but uh, it's worth it. Yeah, sounds like it. Sounds like it is. I yeah, grew up through, with these games, and just fucking every year, it's just amazing. So you know, always yeah. come back. International fans coming out. That's really cool. Austria, they, Austria yeah. yourself? Yes. Wow. Wow, yeah, you guys, I would probably be in line too if I came from that far. Like, yeah. uh, an eight-hour eight sit in line wouldn't bother me. Or, well, it's a fun are, you, line, man. are you up here all night now? Yeah, every every year. Wow, that's very cool. D Duffs and I founded the, um, the first liners group a couple of years ago. I've been coming for eight years, and uh, we, just, we just decided no matter what, we're going to come and be the first people in line, no matter how early we got to be here, and we're going to have a party. Yeah. The group's gotten bigger every year. We've been here since 8 a.m. On, on Thursday. And we're going to be here till the doors open and they let us steamroll each other in. <laughs> so I see hookah and monster. What else happens at this party? Uh, quite a bit, man. Uh, we have a good time. There's a lot of duct tape flying around. There's all <laughs> types of you know, A line gets duct tape to their chair. And oh, we wow. A, we have a new person initiation where, uh, where he'll just randomly attack somebody that's new with duct tape and we'll all yell, you're one of us. And is, there, yeah. there, is there a new person here tonight? Uh, yeah, there's a few new people. Oh, okay. Let's go over here and see. So, so you're a BlizzCon version and a first-time first-liner? Are you hanging in there? Yeah, I'm doing all right. It's good to hear. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how long you last. Yeah, he's looking a little glazed over. I think he's going to end up duct-taped at some point tonight. <laughs> With any luck. With any luck, yeah. And uh, I haven't gotten over here yet. How long have you been coming? Oh, this is, her, oh, this is this my is first, first year well, and guess, first yeah, convention. First time. Okay, so BlizzCon and her first time in the group. This is my first time at BlizzCon myself, so I, I can associate with that. <laughs> I think you will last longer. You look more alert than he did. Yeah, I'm, I'm awake. I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she might actually not get duct taped tonight. I do duct tape. There you go. <laughs> All right, anything you guys want to add before we take off out of here? Or? Well, man, um, BlizzCon's all about the community. We've uh, gathered here for, you know, years and made all these friends and lifelong connections. And if you ever get the chance to go to BlizzCon, do it. Make it happen. In, in all the different gaming conventions and comic conventions, anime, what have you, that I've been to, this is the one that I come to every year without fail because it is it is the best community, the best the, the best developers, the nicest people. It's it's always the one that you have the stories from, just the the, the memories that you will constantly relive with your friends every single year. Yeah, it sounds like quite the experience. I'm looking forward to it. Well. Hey, nice to meet you guys. Everyone, good luck tonight. Hang in there. I hope none of you get duct taped, to be honest. It's going to be so I'm. <laughs> Apparently, it's unavoidable. That's the first liners.
Obviously, you are Nova from Heroes of the Storm and StarCraft. I am. How long did this one take you for you to make? About three months. Three months of work. That's a lot of work. Yeah, it is. At least you get to wear one of the, I mean, I see some people clam baking inside their costumes. At least you get to be kind of comfortable here. Yeah, this one's pretty comfortable except for the shoes. Yeah. Oh, those are... Oh, she, check out the shoes. <laughs> they look like roller skates, but they're actually like platforms. Yeah, I can't skate, so. <laughs> <laughs> that would be tough during the con with all the people, too. Yeah, for sure. So who are, who are you here to see the most? Like, which uh, panel do you want to see? Definitely Heroes of the Storm. Yeah. I love playing it, so. Yeah, same here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thanks cool. for the interview. Yeah, yeah thanks. Guys. No problem. Yeah, surprisingly enough. Really, really? I, I thought it would be way worse. Yeah, yeah. I imagine I saw the ETC around here, too. He looks pretty. Yeah, that looks pretty terrible. So how, everybody's probably stopping you for pictures. It's a very good costume. Thank you so much. How long did this one take you to make? About 100 hours. 100 hours. Wow. <laughs> so are you going to be in it all day, or are you going to uh, take it off later for uh, just to enjoy the fest? No, I'm going to wear it all day. So if you're looking for an Arthas all day, this is the lady to find. Thank you so much. No problem. You have a good day. You too. Uh, obviously, you're dressed up as ETC. This is his master skin, by the way, right? Yes. Yeah, it's Master Skin. We love this one. Did you create this? Yes, uh, myself and my girlfriend here, my handler. <laughs> wow, how much? How long did this take? Uh, about four months. Four months. That's the longest one we've interviewed so far. Yeah, it's about three on the web ones themselves, and then about a month on the costume. Wow, it is very. But California man, you're baking, right? Oh, dying, dying. <laughs> <laughs> if you see this guy around, bring him water. He deserves it. Yes, please. So, is yeah. there anything you want to add? What are you looking forward to the most here today? I'm just having some fun with my friends. That's it. Yeah. You, are you going to stay in all day or are you going to take... I'll be in all day. I'm in the contest tonight, so... Uh... Oh, quite the trooper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all day. They have a cosplay lounge this time, so he'll be able to take breaks. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, they have a lounge so we can take breaks and stuff. It's awesome. So that'll be nice. Uh, hydrate up and get ready for the, yeah. con for the contest. All right. Well, we'll be rooting for you. Um, we'll get one last shot of uh, ETC here with the uh, head on, and then uh, we'll let him... Uh, There we go. Don't get caught in a stage dive or mosh pit, people. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for your thank time. You. We really appreciate it. Uh, all right. Uh, first off, I got to admit, I'm not in the beta yet, and I've only mildly watched stuff, so I don't know who anyone is here. So you're going to have to help me out here. We're not in the game or the beta. It's just the promo images that they put out in the background. They're soldiers. We're generic we're, Overwatch we're, we're, we're the guys who keep things running. We're not heroes. We're the you know the, 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 the dirty the guys on the ground. The scenes. Yeah. So yeah, the boots on the ground here. These people are going to be uh, responsible for keeping all the other people we're up. We're clean up. Yeah, yeah. basically. So, somebody's got to keep the base running. Yeah. <laughs> so are you guys, have fit, did you guys make these costumes yourself? Or yes. Is this, okay, so how long did it take you to make these? Uh, these are a combination of uh, roughly about a month and a half. Month and a half? Yeah. Yep. Mine took like a day. Yeah. A day? Oh, well, okay. I mean the gun. No, the gun the yeah. <laughs> That's a very good looking gun, too. Oh, it's All the gun. Gone. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, so, so it's, it's technically I was going to cosplay far out this year, but it didn't happen. So next week. We got the gun next. completed. I have but, the gun. Yeah. <laughs> That's very, uh, we had uh, ETC over there. It took him four months oh, cool. to do his. He's, uh, oh, oh, there he is. Got, there's yeah. Mark. Yep. Yeah. On the there plus side, you guys don't look like you're baking inside of your costumes. No, we, uh, we're we going a little comfortable this year. We've yeah. done enough of that in the past. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. So are you guys all in the Overwatch beta yet? Or? Yes. Yes, actually. Uh, yeah, we actually, we, did. we got, yeah. we got yeah. lucky yeah. enough, and it was kind of the inspiration for, yeah. for this, uh, even last year when we got to test play the game. Okay, that's awesome. Well, you guys have fun. We'll take one shot with you guys uh, sure. posing. and then Absolutely. Uh, All right. Well, thank you very much, guys. You guys have been great. I appreciate Thanks. it. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President and CEO of Blizzard Entertainment, Mike. More high. We're excited to do another charity pet this year in World of Warcraft. On December 2nd, Brightpaw, the Mana Kitty, will go on sale. And once again, all proceeds through December 31st will go to Make-A-Wish. I'm pleased to announce that in addition to our ongoing support for the game, we plan to create StarCraft II mission packs 
that offer new stories and experiences in the StarCraft universe. Woo! The arena is going to challenge how you think about this game. This is a mode with not a lot of game rules. You could all be the same hero. You can pick the same hero on each other's teams. You're going to be given three randomly selected heroes to choose from. You're going to choose a single hero, a single heroic ability, and jump right into battle on a small, dangerous, single objective battleground. I've been making games for 20 years. I don't think I've ever seen a game development team tank to a new game mode like the Heroes team has really loved and enjoyed the arena. <laughs> Towers of Doom is a map. You've never played anything like this before. You can't attack the enemy's core directly. When you destroy enemy towns, they become your towns. It'll make you think very differently about your heroes, your talents, your team compositions. And Chogall, well, Chogall is a one-of-kind experience. You saw that right. Two players controlling one hero. And you're going to have to work with an ally to control a thousand pounds of muscle and magic in this giant, insane two-headed ogre. So I figured maybe now we could talk about some of the new stuff. I was thinking maybe we could talk about a brand new Hearthstone adventure. <laughs> and this adventure is going to be a little bit different than you guys might be expecting. There might be some surprises there, but it really speaks to the heart of what it means to go on an adventure and be an adventurer. So if you like exploration and danger and ruined temples and a whole bunch of new cool solo missions and a bunch of awesome new cards, then I'm pretty sure you are going to like this. Cause land and sea 